Hi. In this video, I'd like to demonstrate Ramp Blend. Ramp Blend is a Houdini digital asset, which lets you do geometry morphs by interpolating point positions, colors, normals, UV coordinates and custom attributes between multiple shapes. It does have some similarity to the Sequence Blend SOP, but it's much more controllable and flexible. The idea behind Ramp Blend is to help character riggers and animators get rid of complex muscle systems, which are often too slow, troublesome and tedious to set up. It was specifically created with the concept of corrective blend shapes in mind, where changes to the blend factor trigger sequential morph targets. This way, you can limit the influence of each zone to a specific range. By following this procedure for the rest of the zones and combining all their influences, you can shape the blend overlaps with great precision. Here, you can see how easy it is to make sequential corrective blend shapes to mimic muscle inflations, contractions or underskin sliding movement, with just some carefully sculpted morph targets. Let's look at the workflow of using Ramp Blend as a muscle deformation tool. I have this test scene here. As you can see, I've set a basic two bones arm rig with a very simple skin capture. There are no complex influence maps, muscles or any other influence objects driving the skin. Now let's dive inside the armed model, and under the tab menu just type ramp. Ramp blend has seven inputs. The first one accepts the geometry to morph. The next six inputs accept the morph targets. I connect the rotation x value of the forearm bone to the blend factor attribute of ramp blend using an expression. Now that the forearm rotation drives the blend factor, I'm ready to use the ramps, but first I need to fit the bone rotation range to 0 to 1. I scroll the time bar to locate the extreme poses, and then I set the input minimum and maximum sliders accordingly. I feed the first target input with a branch of the same geometry and insert a sculpt SOP. Let's try to find a pose where the default deformation may need correction. Here at this pose, it's obvious that the deformation doesn't look that great. I start brushing here and there, pushing and pulling points. Shaping the bad deformations and adding bulges to key areas, it already starts looking much more natural. Now, I want to concentrate the sculpt influence where I'm interested. Let's scroll the animation to check how it looks. I think it looks much better. I continue working this way for the next extreme pose. Of course it's not necessary to take extreme poses only as references. You can use in between poses as well, in order to add corrections. You can see how easy it is to sculpt deformations, on top of the pose. The only thing you have to do, is limit the sculpt influence to this particular pose and then fade it as you wish. You may want to return to the sculpt SOP, and make as many corrections as you like. In addition to the inflations or contractions you can sculpt, you can also use an edit SOP with a soft radius to fake under skin muscle movement. So simple. Nice. I like this one. Why not make some muscle movement for the bicep too? Let's grab a point near the area of max inflation. I increase the soft radius to affect only the bicep area. Then I move the skin slightly upwards and check. Ok, now let's apply the UV checker to see it better. You can see both of the morph targets doing their magic. With up to 6 zones in your disposal, you can satisfy most of your needs. If 6 zones are not enough, 
you can go crazy and add as many ramp blend instances as you wish. I hope you got an idea of how ramp blend works. Please stay tuned for the upcoming companion digital asset, Flesh. You can download Ramp Blend at www.orbolt.com. The full URL is at the bottom of the video description. Thanks for watching.